Hello students. Welcome to today's session on B cell receptor and antibody production. B cells, otherwise known as B lymphocytes, are the white blood cells involved in antibody production during humoral immune response. In this video, we will clearly see about the structure of B cell receptor and the steps involved in antibody production by the B lymphocytes. First, let's see what is immune response. As we all know, anything that is non-self or foreign to the body is considered as antigens. Once antigens enter our body, lymphocytes produce specific immunological reactions or immune responses against the antigen in order to remove them and to prevent the development of an infection or disease due to that particular antigen. This immune response can be humoral or cell mediated. Humoral immune response results in the production of antibodies by B lymphocytes. Whereas cell mediated immunity does not involve antibodies. Rather, it involves antigen specific cytotoxic T lymphocytes, the activation of phagocytes and the release of various cytokines in response to antigens. Antigens are usually bacteria, bacterial products, fungi, viruses or other parasites. Usually entire organisms do not function as the antigen. Particular macromolecules of these infectious agents usually act as antigens. Proteins are the major antigens and polysaccharides come in next to it. Lipids and nucleic acids of these microorganisms are less antigenic and do not act as antigens unless they are coupled with proteins or polysaccharides. Antigens are also called antibody generators as they induce the immune system to produce antibodies. Hence, we can say antibodies are the glycoproteins produced in response to antigens by the host immune system whose function is to eliminate the entered antigen. How are antibodies produced? In order to produce antibodies, first the antigen should activate the B lymphocytes. And this activation is by binding with specific receptors on the B cells which are known as the B cell receptors. Activated B cells are called the plasma cells or the plasma B cells. Plasma cells are the white blood cells that could secrete large volumes of antibodies or immunoglobulins. These secreted immunoglobulins are transported by blood plasma and lymphatic system to destroy the entered antigens. So we said the production of antibodies is the function of B lymphocytes. So let's see what are actually B lymphocytes. The B cells are a type of white blood cells produced by multipotent hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow. Here in the diagram, we can see that the hematopoietic stem cells differentiate into myeloid progenitor cells and lymphoid progenitor cells. From this lymphoid progenitor cell, the B lymphocytes as well as the T lymphocytes are produced. These B lymphocytes are actually producing the antibodies. The mature B cells that have not been exposed to the antigens are called the naive B cells. 
The nave B cells carry special receptors on their cell membrane to which the antigens bind. These receptors are called the B cell receptors or the BCRs. BCRs are made up of two parts that is transmembrane antibody and the heterodimer proteins. The first part that is the transmembrane antibody is attached to the cell membrane of the B cells and to that the antigen actually binds. It can be the antibodies of any one isotype like IgD, IgM, IgA, IgG or IgE. And these antibodies are acting as the antigen binding site of the BCRs. These antibodies have two light chains and two heavy chains which are held together by the disulfide bonds. These antibodies are also called membrane immunoglobulin as they are attached to the plasma membrane of B lymphocytes. These antibodies are oriented outward that is away from the cell. The second part is the signal transduction moiety. Signal transduction moiety is made up of transmembrane heterodimer proteins embedded in the cell membrane of B cells and they are called Ig alpha and Ig beta. Here in the diagram, we can see the transmembrane heterodimers called Ig alpha and Ig beta. These heterodimers are also held together by the disulfide bonds. Each member of the heterodimer spans the plasma membrane and has a cytoplasmic tail bearing an immunoreceptor tyrosine-based activation motif, which is otherwise called ITAM. The transmembrane immunoglobulin and the heterodimer proteins together make up the so-called BCRs. Each individual B cell has around 50,000 BCRs on its surface. But one B cell carries BCRs specific for only one particular antigen. Thus, B cell population of an adult individual carries BCRs for as many as 10 raised to 13 different antigens. Means 10 raised to 13 different and undifferentiated B cells are present in an adult human body. They circulate in the blood awaiting the activation by specific antigen. Now coming to the process of antibody production by B cells. The antibody production takes place in five different steps. The first step is the binding of antigen with the B cell receptor on the B lymphocytes. It is followed by signal transduction through the heterodimer proteins and the activation of B cells. The activated B cells will get differentiated into the plasma cells and the memory cells. The antibody secretion is first carried out by the plasma cells during the primary response to the primary infection by a particular antigen. The antibody production will be also carried out by the memory cells during the secondary response to the reinfection by the same antigen. Coming to the steps in detail, as we already mentioned, the first step is binding of the antigen with specific B cell receptors on the cell membrane of the B lymphocytes. The second step is signal transduction and activation of B lymphocytes. When an antigen is captured, the membrane receptor communicates with the nucleus through the signal transduction heterodimer proteins and the B cells will get activated. 
The third step is the B cell differentiation. Upon activation, the B cells immediately undergo clonal proliferation and differentiate into antibody producing plasma cells which are otherwise known as effector B cells and the memory cells. The fourth step is the antibody secretion by the plasma cells. Plasma cells will secrete soluble antibodies and these antibodies circulate through the bloodstream to identify the antigen that had induced its synthesis. Such circulating antibodies are also present in the serum tissue fluid and mucosal surfaces of vertebrates and are usually called soluble antibodies. Antibody production by the plasma cells are mainly taking place during the primary response, that is the response to the first infection by a particular pathogen. Next step is the antibody production by memory cells. The memory cells that are differentiated from the activated B lymphocytes will remain in the circulation for very longer periods and they are involved in secondary response. That means when the same antigen enters the body for a second time, memory cells will immediately proliferate and differentiate into plasma cells which will then clear the antigens. That's why the secondary response is faster than the primary response. Thank you for your patient listening. See you soon with another topic. Thank you very much.